Hey, love bugs, it's Roz. Come back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for being able to, you know, practice on releasing the things that are hindering you and holding you back and keeping you at a fr low frequency because you truly deserve to be happy and being able to embrace the loving vibes that are coming towards your way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact to give high impact to your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some really hard times right now and need validation and confirmation towards, you know, their life path or even their sole purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's truly a blessing. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the beautiful meditation I'm listening to is called Meditation for Anxiety, Stress, and Depression. Instant Relief, Inner Peace, and Panic Attacks. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And it's so peaceful, too, because you see somebody and it just looks like they're sitting up under the ocean and they're just relaxing uh, in the lotus position. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's ascending. Blessings are on its way. Pay attention to the signs that are unfolding in front of you. Yes, we are. There are so many of us that are ascending to bigger and better things in our lives. We have really been catching hell, going through emotional roller coasters, dealing with all these different shifts that's been going on. We just got through the spring, the spring equinox and the Mercury retrograde and the, the full moon uh, cycle that went around. You know, we've really gone through things and it's just like it makes us tired. It makes us face all the the bad stuff that has happened to our lives and is having us clear from so many different past lives as well. And, you know, you have to really be paying attention to the things that are really like coming towards your way. The vibes, you know, the synchronicities, the numbers, um, even quotes. You know, if you can resonate with quotes, like, you you know, I talk to myself a lot, you know, what empath does and you know, we need a, you know, expert's advice anyway. <laughs> so when you, you know, and there's good things that you, you know, you have to watch what you say towards yourself and the universe, you know, not to sit up here in a bad light. It's like, yeah, I went through this and this and that, but, and that's how you always have to tell yourself, but yeah, I went through this and this and that, but this, that situation has you know taught me a lot this, this situation has me look at things in a totally different way being careful of the mistakes I've made prior to this you know for me going through this you know because a lot of us are living and learning which we all do you know you shouldn't you know beat yourself up for the mistakes you've made you know you learn from those mistakes you learn from your mishaps and your failures and setbacks you know that's what they're that's what mistakes are made for <laughs> for you to be able to learn from those you know, being able to ascend from everything that has put you in a bad spot, put you in a dark place. You know, um, a lot of times we've been in dark places and it got to the point where it's overwhelming. You're trying to find your way out, you know, knowing you're working on yourself each and every day, you know, is a true blessing. Um, being able to see the synchronicities that the angels, spirit guides, universe, mother earth, God, you know, source, creator is sending towards your way saying, you know what, we applaud you. You're living in that authentic, authentic life. You're getting in touch with your higher self. You're ascending towards your higher self. You're, you know, you succeeded in things that you never thought you would be able to. You know, and there's times where you can keep going and you feel like what I'm doing is not good enough. But like I've told people a thousand times, you never know what's going on in, in the scenes behind you. It may not look like things are going, you know, in your favor, but it's just like you have to understand you have to have faith in the universe, well as in God and creator, that the, the sacrifices you're making you know, are for the greater good. You know, you can be mad at universe like, well, you got me getting rid of this person. You got me getting rid of that person. You got me walking away from this one and stop communication with that one. They weren't supposed to be in your life. 
you know, and a lot of times, like I've said before, we, a lot of times we put lifetime expectations on seasonal people. They were supposed to be in your life for you to learn off of them and them to learn off of you and teach you a lot of things and going about their business. Let it be. Obviously, if they're supposed to be in your life, they'll be there. <laughs> they would be there. You have to just send them away with love. You know, there's a lot of people. I don't even give them explanations. I just cut them out of my life. They know what they did. I ain't got to say We too old to be explaining what the heck you did wrong. You know what you were doing. You know, because there's a lot of people that will be in your life for the wrong reasons. Or they, like, they see the light within you. They they can't see with themselves. And it will help sabotage you all the way around. So God sometimes turns your back. If he ain't turning your back towards them, they're having them turn your back on you. There's a lot of people that, you know, throughout my, my time, especially uh, around December time, there was a lot of people that exited out my life. And I was like, well, dang, I never did anything to them. But you know what? Hey, it God has a reason. God has a reason for everything being out your life. So it's just a lot of, you know, a lot of things weren't meant to stay in your life like that. You have to be able to, you know, part ways and part ways with love. You know, when you, when they start showing you things and they're giving you that gut feeling, hey, you know, you need to let go of some certain people. You know, I've had people that, you know, try to control me, try to sit up here and say, oh, you're not doing this and this and that, but couldn't see the faults in the stuff they were doing. You don't be trying to sit here and sweep my front porch when yours is dirty as hell. You can't do that. <laughs> you know, you, you can you can help guide me, but be able to pay attention to the stuff you need to be working on yourself and stop worrying about the stuff I'm doing. You know, and there's a lot of people that has done that. So it's just like everybody can have their opinion about things. That's fine. Yeah, everybody got opinions. That, you know, that's what people do. But that's that time for you to be able to work on yourself. But we are going to that next level. That's the reason why you catch a hell left and right. This is the reason why the devil tries to keep you down because he does not want to see you have these things in your life. They will send people from your past. Like there's people I done took off my Facebook and here they come trying to ask me for another friend request. I'm like, dude, if I wanted you there, I would have kept you there. <laughs> I said, I took you off my Facebook for a reason. You know, I exit out of people or there's people that I feel like the bad vibes are coming from you. I, I'm not even going to accept it. I just delete. You know, there's a reason for everything that happens. You're, there's a lot of people that you're not even supposed to connect with. You know, and it's sad, you know, because I always felt like I can help everybody. I can help save everybody. No, 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 that's not <laughs> what what that meant for, for you doing. The right people going to come towards your way. You know, the people who want to take it for granted and take don't take heed on the things you say, you got to walk away from you know, I mean, I've had to do that with family members. You know, I try to help them, allow them to see the things that were, you know, going on in their life that they need to really pay attention to. And they just want to, oh, Rosalind, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Gone about my business. You know, it's just like when things come to me, I, you know, I'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because if there's things I know I need to work on, that's fine. But it's just like if people, you know, I always used to tell people, don't give somebody advice to something that you have never experienced. You don't know what that person's going through. You don't. You know, I always tell people, you know, if I haven't experienced that situation, I'll straight up say, you know, if they ask me for advice about something, I'm like, wait a minute. They, Ooh, that's something heavy. You know, I said, I don't know. I've never experienced that. But if I did, this would probably be the way I would, you know, I have to think really hard before I up and give them the answer to that. And I would tell them this is what I might do if I got put in a situation like that because I don't know. I've never experienced that. So I don't want to give somebody the wrong advice. You know, I'll tell you what I would do. And that's your, your choice, what you want to do with that or what you don't want to do. But, you know, all these things are coming into our life and it's given us blessings in so many different ways. You know, you feel this this sense of calmness, excitement, you know, knowing you're about to end something in the most beautiful way that, you know, you're staying focused on the things that you're doing that nobody, you know, no matter what people try to bring your way or what they try to wish on you. If God's ready for you to have that, God's ready for you to have that, no matter what these folks are trying to say, you know, and I have to keep telling people that you will have people in your life to try to pray against them prey on your downfall because they're not going to be happy for you they see the things that are coming in your life and they don't want to be happy for you and that's a sad situation because they don't know you know you got stuff coming to you too but you're so busy focused on somebody else's journey that you're trying to stop their flow and then you don't even realize that's just two things of karma that you don't put on yours to make your stuff stop so you keep doing you don't be so focused on your stuff that you won't even allow their negative energy to intrude in your life you know, being able to work hard, you know you worked hard on the things that you're working hard for. Knowing you got blessings coming your way left and right, you know, and you keep working on yourself. You, I mean, it's just like there's things we're all, you know, 
um, a work in progress. You might not be able to get over things, but if you know you're working hard for that to happen, the universe is going to, you know, do their part on helping you. You know, it's just like when I go through ups and downs, I always call on, you know, the archangels, whatever, which one I, you know, I need at that time. And it, I mean, it just makes me feel so good. And I, there's so, so much of a weight that's been lifted off of me, you know, being able to open up and tell my story towards these videos let it, allowing you to know these are the mistakes I've made but I'm trying to help others as well you know because we all make mistakes we all learn from them and you have to be you know careful with the things you do you have to be careful on, on on the things you open up about and I you know I have to learn the hard way for that but I know being being able to ascend in so many different ways and being able to say you know what you have learned so much from the painful experience you have experienced and you have it allows you to maintain growth it gives you that special wisdom that from that situation being able to you know and there's a lot of times and i know i probably say this a lot for people that have been with me for a while when you step back and look at it without emotions because you know it's not good to never make decisions when you're upset because you might not feel that, that same decision when you're all right. So it's just like when you calm down and you really, you know, God asks you to just calm down and just take a good look at this situation and see where it's brought you, see where it's gotten you. And that's where the lesson comes through it, at, through that experience you have had. So, you know, there's times that, you know, we're constantly going on through our head about situations that we have experienced. And just allow that strength to come from that tragedy. Allow that beauty to come in from that tragedy. Yes, there's tragic situations that happen in our life, but it can convert over into a beautiful outcome. Because, you know, when you can allow your power to be snatched back from that painful experience, yes, this has happened to me, but it's no longer happening to me. I'm going to heal. You know, these people aren't even in my life anymore for them to be able to cause me this kind of pain because I detached myself. That's a blessing right there. When you can be able to detach yourself from the people that have those monsters in your closet that has gotten you to that point where you act a certain way, you know, or you, you know, the light, the, the world to you is like presented a different way towards you when after you've been through things and that's a sad thing to experience because there's so many of my love books that have went through so much tragedy it has them detaching themselves from finding love. It helps them to, I mean, it has hindered them from allowing themselves to be able to experience being with someone in that kind of way, you know, that they, you know, they, they're scared to allow things like that to open up to you. And it's just sad that you had to go through that. And, you know, that's why I wish so much happiness in their lives, especially because they deserve to be happy. You deserve to be able to have a companion that you can share your life and your memories with, somebody who can support you and somebody that you can support, you know. But it's just like you've been through something so tragic. It makes you look at people like, are all these people like this? But if you're not giving yourself that experience, I trust me, I've been that way. And it's just like, I, you know, but it was a blessing because I, you know, I practice celibacy not submitting myself to anybody you can't just share your energy with anybody because you don't know what kind of energy you're going to be you know you know your energy but you're not you don't you, you're not sure of all the energy they have so it's just like your energy is very sacred to you it should be very sacred to you i've, I've seen too many people out here it just will give themselves to anybody just because they're bored at the time and that's not a good thing that's how diseases come that gift that keeps on giving you know there's a lot of <laughs> diseases out there some of them they haven't even put names on it yet so it's just like when I take pride in my body to realize you know I'm saving this for somebody that's very that's going to be very special to me you know there's a lot of men that men and women that came up on me asking me to go out and I'm just like if I'm not you're not making my heart skip a beat and it's nothing against you you know I just know it's not going to work you know you got to have that be that special one with that special vibe so allow yourself to be able to open up allow yourself to be welcoming to the blessings that are coming towards your life drop the ones that are not you know that are holding you back you know because you truly deserve happiness you truly deserve the blessings that are trying to flow to you but if we're holding on to heartache and pain and regret and anger you're not going to have room for all the beautiful happiness love and blessings that are trying to come into your life so pay attention to the signs that are coming towards your way. Pay attention to the synchronicities that are coming towards your way. If you're having that gut feeling that, uh, you, you know, you're ending a traumatic chapter in your life, an emotional one at that, you know, that will let you know that blessings are on its way. 
So I hope you were able to, you know, get something out of his like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share, even give me your input on this is greatly appreciated. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.